this next dude, man, he is hilarious. We've done shows all around the bay together. Just when I see him, he makes me smile. So give it up big for Andy McFood, y'all. Hi there. Why don't we uh, give ourselves a round of applause for selling this place out tonight? So, uh, my girlfriend's a real fucking bitch. It's probably because uh, she's on her period, am I right, fellas? You know what I'm, uh, I'm just joking. Uh, she hasn't gotten her, she hasn't gotten her period. <laughs> no, not like that. She's not old enough to get her period. <laughs> <laughs> so, my name's Andy. I'm also, uh, horny. Pretty horny, usually. So very horny. <laughs> In a non-threatening, non-violent kind of way, you know. It's just, uh... Anyways, you guys ever get so damn horny that your dick gets all hard? Anybody? Ladies? <laughs> that happens to me every, every single morning. I, uh... Almost called the ambulance last week, thank goodness for WebMD. It would have been pretty embarrassing. Um, but I've been hanging out, this is gonna sound strange, transition, but I've um, been hanging out with a lot of dogs lately. And uh, a dog's balls are exactly where you expect them to be, you know? They're where you want them to be. And then their dicks are like, <laughs> right about here. And that got me thinking a little bit. Uh, it'd be pretty cool if my dick was right here. <laughs> For a little bit, you know, maybe t-shirts would be a little more revealing than I'd like. But uh, when it comes down to doing stuff with the ladies, it would be pretty cool, you know? Uh, things would be in different areas. And Basically trying to say, if my dick was right here, I could 69 the shit out of a medium-sized dog. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. So, uh, round of applause. Who here was at the Folsom Street Fair last month? <laughs> Pretty fucking wild shit. I actually did not go this year. I've gone the past three years. I, uh, wanted to keep that image that's burned in my brain from last year in there, and uh, it was actually, this is what it was. Last year, what topped all was some gentleman on all fours getting his butthole zapped with a cattle product <laughs> while some other gentleman was just pissing in his face. <laughs> that was great. Can't beat that. I don't even want to see anything else here. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, my favorite part about that festival is that, uh, you know, people partaking in it probably like six blocks away. Like, you know, with the SM mask with the zipper eyes and like those bondage things and then nothing else but bright white, like New Balance, some old man. <laughs> Just waiting for the bus, like, just sitting there. Love that. I actually, I'm from Rochester, New York. It's, a, it's got a pretty big gay community in there. And, uh, you know, the, the parades there are a lot different than old San Francisco. Like, if it's a gay pride thing, they're all like, you know, we're here. We're queer. Get used to it. Boring. San Francisco is like, you know, we're here, and we're all going to suck that guy's cock right in the middle of the street. Right in front of your kid. What? That's just what we do here. That's what we do. What are you, uh, like a tea party guy or some shit? It's fucking normal. Love that. So you guys can do impressions and shit? All right. I have an impression for you. Uh, this is my impression of Cool and the Gang, 2006 Summer Fair, State Fair Tour. 
they're a little uh, underpaid and, you know, kind of disgruntled about the whole thing. It goes like this. Celebrate good times. Come on! Um, I just got back from Austin, Texas. That's a good place to be. A lot of my friends there are very poor, and uh, you know, so am I. So we basically just drank like malt liquor the whole time. And, uh, I showed them something that they didn't know about, which was uh, you take a can of Sparks, drink the OE down about to the label, pour the Sparks in, slam that. Two or three of those, you'll pretty much black out and not remember shit. And good time, good cheap, fun time. <laughs> Did that first night I was there. Uh, had a great time. I didn't realize how great of a time I had until the next morning when I, uh, you know, had a number two or whatever you want to call that. And uh, <laughs> took a look at it, and one of my poops was inside of a condom. So, somebody had a good time. I don't know if it was a safe time. Don't tell anybody that. It's a lot of um, did you guys watch the debate the other week, last week? Yeah. Obama. Yay, man. Sure, yeah, I'll take that. I'm, I'm a fan, I guess. Uh, but out of the two, I'll go Obama. Uh, he's done something that's not really addressed that is, uh, you know, is kind of a big deal. He has helped eliminate one of the worst words to me in the English language, which is the N-word. And just being, you know, the President of the United States, this, he's like the best role model anyone can have, you know. And we're going to hear, I think, less and less of that as time goes on, and uh, that's not really a joke. It's not funny. Moving on. I was in uh, Daly City the other day, and, uh, hell yeah, and uh, I was at the movie seeing that new Wes Anderson with the Moonlight, what's it called? Kingdom, Moonrise Kingdom, thank you. Right in the beginning, I got there early to see the previews. Right in the beginning, get there, sit down, I'm ready. And there's like six or seven Obamas behind me being so fucking loud <laughs> that I missed all the previews. <laughs> you know, that's why I go to the movie theater early so I can know what's coming out. It really bummed me out. Okay, uh... <laughs> I think I'm going to go bootcocking myself now. Thank you guys for listening.